and welcome everyone. I'm here on the Cox of War Grand League match joined by Ru. Hey everyone! <laughs> yeah, it's his first commentary and uh, we are watching yeah. uh, Netherrock against Lama Kid. Uh, yeah, I figured I might as well jump forward the commentary of this game because Ned has commentated on all of my games, so I think it's only fair I come along and uh, commentate on one of his. <laughs> yeah, the only yeah. difference is for you it's uh, your wish, but for him it's probably just uh, not like his work, yeah. but he is forced to do it. But very yeah, nice of him. It's that he's not necessarily supposed to do it, so to speak, but given the circumstances, it's the easiest option because he has to host me whenever I play. Yeah, exactly. Currently hosting okay. a match between Australia and San Marino, which is huge distance. Uh, what are the numbers? <laughs> Actually, I am not sure. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, here we go. We're on to uh, the match now. Nez and uh, Lamo. Now, before we start, do uh, you mind if I quickly go over the uh, the uh, group permutations for this uh, oh, yeah, match? Oh, yeah, yes. Go for it, of course. Oh, yeah. Because I discussed this earlier, okay? So... Nez might be on three wins from uh, three matches and all game wins, but he hasn't technically qualified yet because there is a situation where both Lamo and Vuxy, if they clean sweep their next two matches, two wins from two games, then they will equal him on points. Oh, so that's all a Nez has great to do preparation. Is win... Thank yeah, you. Yeah, go. <laughs> so all they have to do is win one. All Ness has to do is win one of these next two games, regardless of whether he wins or loses the match, and he will be through to the playoffs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to type Ness one extra goal. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I think we, uh, we got a great uh, group on our hands, and uh, that's kind of a um, good point of Grand League. You need to play almost to, to the last match and you never uh, feel secure you're always under some kind of pressure uh starting yeah, the exception from this is space. group yeah, for, oh yeah is on the way okay quickly run over team so i've got the room down here so both teams are pretty similar both are running the pair orderly grenadier then they also have a paratrooper and scout in the last slot but Nez has a second uh, scout, which is in slot three, and Lamo has an engineer in slot four. Hmm. It's actually an interesting lineup. Uh, I'm not sure if Nez trying to find a crossing. Well, in 45 seconds, you can always go behind the island. Oh, that's not a good position to uh, try and go for the MoMA. Yeah, that's I guess nothing can be done here. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, no. No, no, no. Don't try and get out there. Just try, just try and get it while you can. Yep. That was the best he could do in the end, unfortunately. That yeah, was it's kind of strange that he was uh, swimming uh, in that spot. I mean, you can uh, easily, on 45 seconds, you can easily go behind and uh, skip that water damage. But probably he is, uh, I don't know, not trained with yeah. someone who knew that trick. I'm not sure. I think it's uh, his speedrunner mind that's coming into us, because Nez is a speedrunner, so he's always thinking of the fastest route possible. No, I'm it's not... Terrible, the, uh, I really don't tradition. like this excuse, because the process of speedrunning and process of uh, competitive gaming is so different that mm, I, I'm yeah, not sure it's yeah. the case. Yeah. Although, to be fair, a lot of the there are plenty of speedrunners in the top level of League, uh, like uh, ADB, I believe, does speedrunning. Yeah, you yeah. You do speedrunning? Caster? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Caster is the, the most OG speedrunner. <laughs> yeah, there is a bit of overlap. They have fairly decent uh, gre uh, Grenadier cluster from that, from Nez. So now it's going to be see if Lama can repeat no, it. No, wait. It was 70 cluster. It's like it's below average, I believe. Also, the great. Wait, 70 uh... is still. Ah, 71 fuck. it was, actually, but it's more than a high explosive at the very least. <laughs> okay, if you measure with that standards, it's more than grenade launcher. It's <laughs> like the best damage. <laughs> yeah, big problem of uh, picks in space is those buildings. You cannot body block. Yeah. That's always the one. That is, I haven't played on this map, uh, so I'm not really familiar with it, but that does seem like the buildings will always be a bit of a problem for certain pigs and players. Let's see what he gets here. He got four head jumps off. Is that a bad one, unfortunately? Yeah, usually you can tell um, the level difference between two players 
uh, by how they use their clusters. Like, for some reason, uh, weak players are also bad with clusters. I'm not sure why. Like, <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just feel like it. It's kind of painful to watch, because <laughs> Ness is severely lacking without knowledge of this map. He should go yeah. to the right and uh, it's easy walk on 45 seconds. Double poison here on the scout and the uh, para. Yeah, it's that's what huge. It's huge. That's good, but he needs to aim this right to make sure it doesn't bounce off. Oh, I'm not sure about that position. Uh, oh, get yes, it got one. It got two. That's a good double. If Lama is good in this game, he should pr practically bury that scout. This should be the end of him. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen here. We're gonna see this guy go bang, 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 and push this guy into the water. Yeah, exactly. Okay, he's not doing it. Probably he wants to pay attention to Grenadier, I guess. Uh, Ness got first turn, right? So, hmm. It's our first turn, yes. Interesting. Okay, good uh, like change of priorities, I guess, because Grenadier is so important. Hmm. Really the grenade while you can. The only problem is this doesn't give him a re this hardens up the chance of him getting a moment potential moment reversal later on. Well, on picks and space, it's uh, I guess it's still better to do damage to grenadier since two medics are trapped on the island. If Ness will not do anything about this medic, it's actually very bad if he is leaving. Yeah, it's very bad. Now his medic is not that efficient. And uh, oh yeah. my! Oh. oh no! I just noticed he named this uh, para D sync. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <I> love that. <laughs> it's better for right. him uh, to be D sync, to be honest, because so much damage like uh, because of swimming. Into the para instead of the grenadier. Interesting. Mm. Now kind of trying to punch them up, I guess. Might have time to get off a bazooka? Yeah, yeah. He should, should have time. Oh, he's up in the building. Shooting in the building should be an answer. Exactly. No, I Not... think it's, yeah, I think it would absorb the damage if you shoot into the building. No, um, well, the grenade it just uh, like um, bad frame. Like one frame earlier, he should have done like double damage. Uh, just unlucky for him, I guess. Yeah. He can actually stay bomb? there. I don't like uh, shrapnel. That's grenade launcher move. should no be much better. In the shrapnel grenades. Yeah, I don't like that. No point wasting the shrapnel grenades like that. You could have just used a shotgun or even a grenade launcher for that. <laughs> Not shotgun, just grenade launcher. I really dislike shotgun. It's uh, uh, it can fail you at the you know most important moment. So always stick to the grenade launcher if possible. I probably don't mind the oh. shotgun. It's oh oh, oh oh that's unfortunate. Might miss there for Nez. Yeah, it's a huge mistake. Like uh, he aimed and immediately pressed shoot. If you like, mm. if you're trying to aim, you should just aim, then release aiming button and just sink. Uh, like, am I satisfied with that? Am I not? If you press the shoot button after that, it would be exactly the same frame as you did. So there is no point in rushing it. And now Magic yeah. is lacking uh, how much? 40 damage? It can be crucial. Yeah, it should have taken 40 damage, but now that's going to be a big difference. Uh. I'm surprised I didn't try to <laughs> go over there and poison it, to be honest, because for my money, if you're playing up against a Medic and you've got a Scout, you should always aim to try and poison the Medic, especially on maps where there aren't any healing options, because Medic will just be a dead man walking at that point, like what Lama's deciding to do here. Yeah, I think you're right. It's a great pri priority, of course. Yeah. Let's see. He's going oh to go no. over and... Guy's oh no. Damage. Oh, well, yeah. no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is not... Okay, it's not that much. <laughs> okay, so he's... Oh. Oh. Scout's been healed up. That's good to know. They should get back and try and... Uh... I think his best option would be the body block of the scout and uh, trank the medic here. That's his best option. Mm, yeah, I agree with you. It's a great idea for Lama to bring uh, scout 
on the same island that uh, he got a medic on. Uh, but the enemy medic is still alive, so kind of no sense yeah. in it. But the plot, the 40 damage that was missed is probably going to uh, hurt theirs in the long run for this match. I would really want the Lama to do the same thing that Ness was trying to do. Also to snipe from, yeah. from the far. Let's see, Ness is going up. Is he going to try and poison as well? Good idea, probably. But I'm not sure if he got enough damage to deal with uh, Medic. Probably he got. Uh, launcher. I think he's trying to blast him into the water. That would do more damage to the sniper if he gets it right, but I'm not too sure about this. Oh, he changes his mind. It's for a safe sniper. Position safe sniper. is very strange. <laughs> that is very awkward. Yeah, we should see how the situation will, um, will evolve. This is a very important turn, to drop uh, enough jetpacks. Until your uh, paratrooper is alive. Yeah, get rid of the enemy paratrooper while you can. Especially <laughs> since he's still got one jetpack in play. Okay, okay. No right. sense uh, trying to preserve them, since you're 64, it's very close to skipping. Yeah. Uh, Nez got the, the an engineer, jump, actually. What are you doing? Oh, Lama got engineer. Yeah, great decision actually. Using the terrain for uh, head jumps, but I'm not sure if they need it. Like, <laughs> it's great mechanical uh, showing, but. Yes, he did. 40, full 40. Okay, he can actually skip this turn of this guy. Yeah, but you need to make sure you time when you do that skip on that guy correctly, because otherwise. Oh, wait, the medic's still, uh, still caught up in the moment, so it'll be fine. Unless he too, unless he positions him wrong and he can just get blasted out. It can be a mistake from Ness. He is keeping that uh, uh, paratrooper so far away from the medic that if Flama will decide to poison him, uh, Ness will not be able to save him. Too much uh, going uh, yeah. after that guy. So it can be a point where Lama can gain an advantage, but not for sure. Not for sure. All right. Uh, okay, straight he can't bazooka. Get the skip on him. Unfortunately, he'll be on four, which is easy head jump skipping. Six. And right up against your own para, so that's not ideal. Yeah. Probably oh, TNT. Oh, look who's up next. Yep, yeah, this is a big turn here. Alama is ignoring it. Probably he's... No. Uh, yeah, he is. <laughs> he's out. Interesting. Okay. I'm not sure if that's the right play. He got one turn to deal with them, probably he's like, planning to poison them both, I guess, or something like that, but yeah, I would do that it. That might be a good play as well. Mm, yeah, I would do probably the same, because now you can abuse that wa water damage. So yeah, go good turn, overall good turn. If he is planning to do a poison, then yep, good turn. And uh, oh! Yeah, you are. <laughs> Actually, you are. Uh, pretty much right, if he is planning to, but if he will forget about that pairing, it can pretty much bite him. Yeah. Let's see what the scout does. Is he going to... No, he's going for the poison this one. He's going to go for the orderly this time. You know, for so 30 second player... Yeah. What? Changes his mind. Strange. For 30 second player, uh, that engineer turn should be head jumping twice on paratrooper to, uh, you know, prepare him for a turn skip. And then Wait, TNT. The engineer? I guess. Engineer is far away from the medic. It's not a mistake in my book. Okay, important Ooh, turn. Oh, hang on, yeah. This guy would have to get over there, which... Compromise. Three Ooh. head jumps, wow. <laughs> wow. But wasting too much time, yeah, like, why are you doing head jumps? <laughs> you got a turn I skip, you need to do get... no, no like... Swim here, mate. That is a long swim. Okay, just do something, <laughs> just don't stand. It was no, 82. That's... Almost oh. 30 damage. That's bad. 
And look at that. Uh, ah, he also got an explosion from that peak, so probably not head jumping is the right turn. Oh, you're right. Oh, but this might avoid the skip, unfortunately, on that power up. Yes, yes, you're pretty oh, much well. right. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The skip's gone, unfortunately. So it was very good play by Ness, I guess? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure whose good play that was, but yeah, I think that was going to be the inevitable scenario, unfortunately. If he's forgetting about medic, uh, game can turn, but I don't think so. So Ness is controlling nah, the game. He's for healing on his uh, scout. Yeah. I think we can agree it's probably the planned scenario for first map. A player with medic should win if nothing crazy yeah. happens. So so far, going for a long so good. Range, uh, prank here. No, from from this position, it's okay. It will not fall. Yep. Because the issue is, of course, with uh, doing a long range shot like that, is potentially missing because it's not a sniper rifle. So you need to make sure you're dead on. But looks like you got it. And oh, look who's going to be down to <laughs> a sniper rifle now. Yeah, overall he managed that situation good. Medic is dead, and now you can play. Well so. This guy is poisoned, the scout is also poisoned, so now is a dead man walking here. He needs to deal <laughs> with uh, Nez quickly or he is not going to win this one. I think he's not winning it like in any way, but yeah, first priority should be medic and probably TNT into the water. Something like yeah. that. I've been thinking about doing it now as well. He's still going for the head jumps. Ah, uh, Grants are so fixated on head jumps, I just can't. At the uh, very least, he had the time to, to do them, but... Nah, it would be such a better waste of time to just think how you will place TNT for better water mm. damage. He, man he managed to do one head jump. Meanwhile, look at that terrible TNT positioning. Look at that. And... That is... Still 50 Okay, and... good spin. Wait! Oh, it's not gonna be a skip, unfortunately. It's just gonna be a straight defeat. Yeah. At the very least, the orderly is down. Actually, orderly could have survived, and my words about bad positioning it would be like uh, not true, not true at all. But for yeah, I guess he uh, didn't need uh, like perfect damage output. So probably that was good placement after all. My bad, my Another bad. sniper rifle shot going on to probably the the sapper. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Just sniping, sniping, sniping. I think at this sniping, point sniping. he's just focusing on raw damage, Nez, because there's no point for him to be clever anymore. Because both <laughs> of are poison, you may as well just go for it. Yeah, I completely agree. You just need to, like, be in the game and nothing else. It will win itself. Yeah, I guess I will give uh, Nez one score. He already won first match, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> to win this game, sorry. Oh. Which, uh, that's the whole, tr whole truth means he is now guaranteed qualification for the playoffs. Uh, you mean with, uh, with just one map? Yep, yeah, with this one game, uh, he'll be clear of, eight of the worst case scenario, which would be if Lamo and uh, Vuxi won both, won both of their games and got the nine points as well. Wow, it's he actually would be interesting. One game clear. Okay, okay. There yeah, I, I I think Ness uh, got pr probably not the cleanest group, but he managed and uh, overall good uh, performance, yeah. He has played really well, to be honest, uh, throughout this entire group. He's still trying to get up on that? Yeah, why not? You can test things <laughs> since the game is <laughs> over. You gotta admire his determination to try at <laughs> least. But yeah, he's done really well for this group, it has to be said. And... There was no shortage of talent in this group, to be said. There was some definitely some good players. Uh, he just stood above <laughs> them all. I guess. <laughs> I mean, they're not. I mean, we're not comparing them to you, obviously. No, I mean, I'm not are... talking about myself, but uh, I don't know. Uh, See, but, too much new faces. I mean, not to... to the group B at the very least. Group B is just that's a stack 
group. There's no doubt about that. Mm, let me check the group. Uh, he got... Oriol, Hero Witch, Tom, and Chris. No, 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 Black it's Max not his group. Is just... Ah, Mr. Kinch, Vaxi, and Welsh guy. Oh, I had the wrong group, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Vaxi actually is a good player from what I've seen. Yep. And that will be the scout avoiding a skip turn. But it's... Yep, and yeah, at this point, I think it is just about game. Yeah, This guy got 75, right. he's poisoned. Ness has two pigs, that's it. I guess the biggest uh, reason why we are not expecting any uh, rapid change of situation. Uh, I'm not expecting, and probably you too, we are not expecting Lama to use any shrapnel. Like... Uh... Yeah. I mean, he used one already and it was pretty... Uh, Discouraging. Pretty bad. Yeah, not... The... Maybe he just doesn't trust himself with the shrapnel enough. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not good with shrapnels either. I can barely get the 30, let alone the 50 or 70s. Which is why I only use them really for their design purpose, which is building this. Oh, he is going for one! Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, you're not expected to change angle, but uh, let's see. It's all about input. Uh, it's 50. Oh, he's still got a 50 health at least. And it's a game. Enough to take out the scout. Unless, uh, yeah, all has to do unless blast Ness will like drown himself game. or something, it should be game. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. One turn of but damage should be enough. Be how did he get to finish it? Knife, gun, or he didn't get a gas oh. into death. I mean, any one of those <laughs> yeah, he's got a knife. <laughs> Disrespect the melee poison, Skip. Uh, yeah, Lama is a completely oh, new one. I don't remember him on previous tournaments. Yeah, since he's from San Marino, I don't remember like the hype about new San Marino players. Uh, yeah, Ness probably is the most famous person from Group A and GG for victory on yeah, first map. He's got it. He's got the game and that's his qualification secured. GG. Now comes GG. the question. Can he go eight games from eight in his group stage? Because he has not lost once. I guess we will find out on the next map. And we are back for the second map. It's Ness against Lama once again, and we are playing on Porkchum Temple. And I got through with me. <laughs> yep, good day again. Uh, this will be an interesting one, I reckon. Porkchop Temple. Uh, third time or second uh, for, this, for it being used? Uh, league. I guess third, because I remember uh, one Mamok game against Michael and one more, but I don't remember who was playing on this map. So yeah, okay. probably third time. So yeah. So yeah, as of, uh, what do you make of this map so far uh, from what we've seen on it? Uh, pretty hard to say, uh, since I'm not sure if it's known uh, stuff, but you can actually go straight into the barrels and you can uh, skip them. So you can climb the pyramid without, you know, without jumping, without I think without that was demonstrated on the matches already, so I think it's known. Mm, yeah, not sure, actually. Known. Not sure. Because I do not remember such stuff, but you don't even need to Here jump over. Yeah, you just need to... Yeah. Yeah. You just need to go straight. Lama first up, he's got the turn, because uh, Nez went first last game, and he's going straight up already. Looks like he's going straight I, for the mine. TNT, probably. TNT, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I keep no. forgetting which level the mines are on, so my bad. I, I think mines oh, on the very there top. He is. It looks like he's just going. Uh, Trying to collect like everything. <laughs> very greedy. He's to deny this from having any of the equipment, is what's happening. Which I think is probably a good thing. The only problem is that this medic will be loaded. Uh, kinda good thing, but then again, probably he can. Leave everything for the second pick in his lineup, so at least TNT. At least TNT for second pick to use. Yeah. Power into play. I really like this map, oh, but wow. uh, since uh, players are playing on 45, they are not so forced 
to invent uh, skips. I am sure that both those hills can be skipped, can be jumped over. Uh, it would be interesting to see when... Can be. I, bet you, I bet they can be completely walked up on one side, at the very least. Kinda, kinda. You need to jump. Yeah. And he's gone for the other TNT here. He's just grabbing everything he can. Yeah, it's very, uh, I must say, very confident start. Like, he got a plan to secure everything. Uh, oh, see. wait. He's not planning on losing it inside the, the building, is he? I'm not sure. What are you doing? Oh, it's oh very yeah, good. you shoot for the roof. Oh. And such damage, wow. It's that wow. was good. Dude. You can do that. I, I, I was not sure. I, I was, was sure that turn. you can do it from like side panels, but from the front, wow. Just imagine how he was prepared for that. Wow. He definitely see that was definitely planned, that was. Absolutely. Huh. I know you and Ness, like uh you're kinda tight in, in terms of uh location, so you're practicing with each other. Uh have you like played we on the map? No, you we didn't. didn't practice this map. I practiced it with Borealis. Mm-hmm. We didn't know, and we completely forgot about that. You tend to forget that that's a thing you can do a bit over. The thing you can do on this map is that you can uh, shoot through the roofs of uh, buildings like that. It's it just impressive. And he, wow, he got like 50 something damage. Oh yeah, th this is the trick. Perfect. Yeah, uh, no, execution is not uh, and good. All the way down. Yeah, but <laughs> that's the way. Not like that though. Almost? Nah. Actually, maybe it's um, not every single barrel you can do. Probably you need to go to the right. Yeah, you can go straight for a, t a safety hmm. here on the medic. Yes. And I can't remember how much help this guy's got. Let's mm. see. 52? 100. That's going to be a 49. It's 48. So yeah, mm -hmm. slight miss out on being able to get the maximum, but that's still pretty good. Yes, magic can be gone in like one round. Yep. I'm still kinda in half uh, of the third wow, that uh, guided missile. A homing missile? Yeah, I don't oh, think yeah, you're homing missile. Yeah, missile, yeah, you're right. <laughs> 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 Alright. So what's gonna happen here with this uh, sapper? He's going to... This guy as well. I'd be careful about which way you blast him if you are, because on one, because on one side he's gonna roll back up, and on the other side there's a health crate he can easily pick up. Yeah, he can try to push him close to the barrel or do shrapnel, but we are not doing shrapnel. I think that's what he's trying to do. Let's see. He will bounce, I see. I think so. Let's see yep. and yeah, that's predicted. Straight 47 onto the scout. I don't think there are any clean doubles on this uh, map for the scout to take advantage of, so. Yeah, probably it's no. the barrel. It's standing kind of strange. He should go for the, to the right. But uh, he's, he's doing it kind of right. To, uh, he's dedicated to try and get up this way. You have to <laughs> yes. commit him. Can we commit him? Commend him for that. Nice. Oh, he got it! This is how it's supposed to be done. 20 and HP, no? this is going to stare at the mines. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he doesn't have much time left! Do you think Did it was a off? mistake that he grabbed the... Uh... Oh! Oh! He grabbed the grenade launcher. That was a panic shot. You could tell if he was just making a grenade launcher shot To like be honest, that. I think he picked a uh, gas grenade, but he was turning and the game locked, you know, uh, game got uh, that input from turning and uh, inventory was kind of still active and it swapped from the gas grenade to uh, grenade launcher. I think so. It kind of happens in speedrunning, yeah. but in competitive also. Yeah. So if that was the case, that was unfortunate for uh, Lamo. That was definitely not what he intended to play out. Somehow I think so. Oh, we're going to see a... Oh, wait. 
He, this is not the tapping. This is this. This is the get scout. So he can't do the blast damage into the wall. <laughs> it does but look like he's going for a poison. Probably double is possible if you start from the guy in the building and try to bounce from that the wall. That would be a toughie, but if he pulls it off... No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Thomas. We can see what the tower does. Is he going to try and sink all his damage into the orderly, or... I think he is! Kinda, but... Hmm... Taking HP would be great for this guy. Probably, like, damage orderly and go into the box with HP. Yeah. How much of this give, by the way? I haven't uh, tested to find out. Mm, I guess 50 no, or something like that. <laughs> I'm kinda okay. lost, but okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, and now he's going for this, for the, uh, bazooka shot. Short range, a little over, 29. Oh, wait, that wasn't... <laughs> well, not the perfect execution, but still okay. Actually, you can work on the those pillars, so... Yeah. You can get I mean, right it's still a good position, them. but... I mm -hmm. Only a 20 out of that, but... Gives the gunner a bit more health. Well, for Nez, it's crucial to kill Medic uh, before uh, next round. Because he is, you know, yeah. uh, second player. Medic is probably going to be gone pretty soon. He needs to get rid of that. Uh, he's going for a mortar shot. No, oh, that's I guess. awkward. Wait, it's a good that idea. He's going for it. It's actually a very good idea. Is it last gunner? Oh! <gasps> If he can manage to damage oh, his medic... That's a pretty good shot, short. Uh, he got splashed, 39. It would be a great turn to damage your medic so he cannot be tranquilized. So, either Lama is wasting heal to heal medic and tranquilize him, or he's tranquilizing someone else and uh, Ness medic can heal. It would be a great turn. He's to avoid it. He's on 35, unfortunately. Yeah. That is a dip in there. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to really count for anything. Is I think a single paratrooper jetpack is all it will take to knock out that orderly. Yeah, but still he's body blocking, so... Mm, yeah. You cannot take the medic without a price, let's say. Yeah. I'm just going to... He's trying it, it again. again. What a madman. Not for it again. Okay, right now it's, it's not that efficient. Sure. It was efficient because of that position when he dealt 50. But... Why it exploded? He dealt a 50 anyhow. There must have been a crate he hit or something. Yeah, probably. No, wait. 50? It was 40. It's 40. I was about to say, how did he deal extra damage? Oh, he's taking out his own medic. He's doing a mercy on his own unit, seems. <laughs> yeah, and also um, explosion damage can kill enemy medics, so I guess. That's probably a good move. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. How much nah, enemy medic? unfortunately too far away. Yeah, that's not perfect. perfect and it's basically wasted uh, jetpack. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Interesting that he goes for the bazooka shot here. Oh, he's going for the uh, <laughs> the power. I got no idea. <laughs> oh, a little self damage there. Okay, he can make head jumps, so probably yeah, probably good decision. Kinda. I'm kind of. Um, like, I'm not sure why they're not collecting HP crates uh, on the top, because on 45 you got a lot of time to do that. And also, uh, health crate near the ice uh, spot. You can over jump it, that hill. They're basically like one or two slippery tiles, so it's not that bad. 
I don't think they give much to ones up there. They're only 10 each, aren't they? Yeah, but still. You know, some advantage. 10, 10, 20, so... <laughs> and also, for a uh, player with a medic, it would be a good idea to collect uh, as much uh, hidden uh, crates as possible to, you know, implement poison in your game. So, also a good point. Yeah. Epi's going for the head jumps here. Need to get seven of these off. He'll probably only do a couple per turn, I reckon. <laughs> hey, he's trying to go for backwards jumping. Mm. I guess it was kind of worth it. Oh, for the TNT. That's gonna land on the para. It should be fine. Perfect placement. Oh, get out of there, mate! Get out of there! Okay, <laughs> fine. Oh, actually, it's a bad placement. Now, Paratrooper can use Jetpack for both damage and to get into the crate. Oh, no, wait, he's used up all of his Jetpacks, the para. Okay, never mind. Never mind, then. No, no, sorry, he hasn't. He's still got two, I think. Uh, I guess he also got that Paratrooper uh, who used uh, homing missile and he got uh, full stack yeah. of. He does have that guy as well. And this guy is just picking up everything, including Bazooka! <laughs> I think the game is slowly, slowly turning into Llama favor. It is. It's definitely becoming a Llama match, this one. Uh, uh, do you mind um, repeating the uh, situation for uh, Llama? What is his uh, tournament situation? Oh. Hello? Huh? <laughs> like Lamu can still poison, qualify as you so told us. I, so I think if he gets a knife off onto that uh okay. para, it's a skip. Never mind. No oh, wait, I'm doing I'm going too early, sorry. <laughs> there we are, one more here. This is the last turn before that medic goes again, so he needs to get rid of it quickly. I'm not sure why he's doing back jumps though. Like, you can clearly see it's not saving time. It's saving time in some occasions, but right now it's not, so just do regular it's ones. Like... Ah. Going... Oh, too much power! Too much power! He almost ruined it. Yep, that was very close. Yeah, I still, actually, I think this guy still has jetpacks, if I remember. I may have got that wrong. Don't need to pick that up, that's just a wasted bazooka. No, kinda. You're not giving it to opponents, so... Best crate in the game. Shame. Oh, that's a that's an easy heavy machine gun position. But uh, probably not needed. Probably not needed. Oh, it can use a normal machine gun, though. Yeah, it's much better. Wow. Okay. He's going for this? It's much better. Okay! And it's so great that he saw that. It's impressive. He pulled this off. <laughs> wow, he ate so much and... bullets. Oh! He missed. It was a great turn. He just was not able it to execute it. It was a good idea it. at the very least, but one yeah. pixel too high. Yeah, as I tried to mention, uh, Lamo lost his first game and Ness qualified, but he still got uh, uh, like huge uh, chances to qualify as well. He does, he absolutely does. There's a lot of qualification permutations for the uh, other three that can qualify. Lamo, Vuxi, uh, Kinch. It all really depends on how the games play out, versus game wins, match wins, how they all go uh, will ultimately determine... Uh, Result. That's a yeah. bit high, mate. Hmm. Got it. Not bad, not bad. It might be too far, or is it pretty good? <laughs> and now that and he manages to get rid of that orderly. Oh, the, the only like, basal is peak needs to run. So much crates. <laughs> this is a lot of goodies. I think it's TNT, yeah? Something else? Uh... Rocket uh, launcher. TNT and uh, homing missile. Yep. 
So if we can, so we can once again see this guy park up inside the building and just from a safe position of under the roof, just. On the oh, other he's guy. gonna skip turn. See. Paratrooper, uh, just do something. Machine gun or cattle prod. Probably machine gun. Anything, yeah, one of those will do it. Oh, so much jetpacks. You're cutting it close if you want to try and do that. I think Lama is like clearly the favorite and he will take this game no matter what. Even like that, yeah. Not yeah. clean, like but. Unit? Yes. And that's gonna be skip damage onto his own scout, but I think the scout's okay. It's actually 30 something, yeah, 33 damage. Yeah, Just 33 to try to skip. Scout. <laughs> yeah. At least he got the skip turn, that's powerful to have. And he's... Exactly. No, he doesn't have his many, that's it down. Looks like all the battle is congregating on, uh... Nez's original starting side here. Yeah, I don't see any possibility right now for uh, Lama to lose this game. Uh, you just need to deal yeah, damage. He's, he's got such a huge advantage in, uh, in so many ways. Yeah. I think it's fair to say that uh, he might have this one that's going to ruin Nez's perfect streak, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that unless you're playing against the like, cream of the cream, uh, it's not that important. Hmm. There's life back down. And I think that sap is not long for this world. Ooh, those two are parked really close together. The yeah, engineers can actually bunch them up pretty good, but yeah. oh, he knows. Oh, just jump. You can do it. Just jump. Let's go. Nice. That texture is pretty wonky, isn't it? The way you can just see through the yeah, map. Yeah, like invi invisible. <laughs> so trippy. <laughs> I don't think that was intended, but I don't think there's anything we can do about it. Yeah, since it's better maps, oh. it's supposed to be wanking. Oh, shrapnel grenade. It can actually be a good grenade. Oh. He pulls this off. <sighs> he changed angle. Oh. The game is yeah. lagging pretty hard. It is kind of lag. I'm wondering if it's uh, just them or if it's... No, orange. I think it's uh, like uh, that texture kind of invisible and uh, also overall weather. It's snowing and snow kind of... Yeah, that doesn't help. Yeah, makes game more laggy. Mate, you can do whatever. <laughs> He's sinking too much. Just you're deal damage. For such an advantageous position here, you can just do whatever you want. Just don't waste turns here, yeah, and you will be fine, pretty much. Yep. On to Nez. This scout's still alive, and he's keeping the health of it hidden at least. Mm, double poison. Can be not even triple, look at that. Oh, It is possible to get the poisons off. Ooh, foo, 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 foo. It's a, that's a that's an awkward angle there. Eh? No, it can work. A bit mm, yeah, it can work, I guess. Maybe a Hold bit to off. the right. Okay. I don't think see. he's gonna I don't think he's gonna help him get back into the game, but it could be a good yeah. one. No, I missed. Could roll but nah. It got huge potential. <laughs> It had a lot of potential there. Uh, nah, that was unfortunate. And also, I kind of curious like how um, Ness is feeling about this game since he uh, he's already qualified, as you said. Like how yeah. important it is for him to yeah. win. Now that you mentioned that, that just remind me because I was going to ask you this. Uh... As a former grunt that went into the Pro League and also through the playoffs, uh, I want to pick your brain about something. For both players that are coming into this and also advice going in, uh, what's it like going playing from 45 seconds to 30 seconds and what advice can you give uh, players doing that uh, in advance? Okay, uh, 
I just want to mention that, uh, like, hitting uh, his own pick with machine gun. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. But to answer your question, oh, it took me a lot of time to adjust. And I guess um, at first you will be feeling some kind of, uh, I don't know, like playing in a steel cage or something like that. Like, you will feel that every single movement is limited. Every single action is, uh, like, ruining your gameplay and such. I would say more practice, more experience, and you'll be fine. Just play more practice games. Okay. It's more or less a case of uh, getting used to the 30 second time limit, uh, rather than uh, just trying to adapt your game to it. Uh, game will be different. I yeah. felt I like... I definitely don't see the play, way I play this game working in 30 seconds. That's very high. I think that's going to be a... Oh. Unless it's that was a the tenants are trying to do a double self-damage. <laughs> I'm not sure it's, it was the plan, but... It would happen. There you go. Oh, he's just going to use up the jetpack here to avoid a skip turn. Yeah, nowadays uh, players who are like who previously played on 45, they got uh, not that narrow entrance into the main league. You got a middle league where you can play against also good players, but not the top of the tops, and uh, it will be not yeah, that stressful. Not the you know? the ADBs and the uh, passes and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the level, just the level below that, really. The players that are l looking to get into that position, going for a big rocket launcher here. Good picture. Wow. Uh, it was a bit of a lag on my end, so... Yeah, <laughs> for me also. <laughs> oh, yep, so we this is the guy who, who is trapped. <laughs> yeah. this, Very this clean. This sapper is somehow still alive. Unfortunately, it... okay, that's an awkward. Uh... Yeah, Gunner is so close to that scout. To... Yeah. How much help is he on again? I can't remember. Uh, for the scout, no idea. Cause and, and for Gunner also, cause uh, he hit himself with a mortar. I think he might actually be not far from. Uh... No, he's going for the TNT on the uh, Gunner, on the Gunner, on the Sapper. What I like seeing is uh, people trying to bunch up uh, in this match. Oh, and he bunched up himself mm. as an engineer, so... Kinda what yeah, I asked, that's but not, not exactly. That a mistake. He can end him with Sapper, a single TNT. Is up next. Oh, he took out the scout! He got it right! <laughs> Look at Remember that. Remember the help of him? I think this is gonna be game, set, match here. Yeah. No, not game, set, match, just game. Yeah, one TNT. Oh, he got zero TNTs. Let's go for machine gun. Can use the heavy machine gun. Nah, not the mine. A mine, really? <laughs> Is he trying to heal his opponent? <laughs> okay, not like that. <laughs> Actually, no. That's probably not such a bad idea because the mine will stop the will stop the uh, sapper from moving. So if he uses the heavy machine gun here, he can. Uh, both of the units, uh, and strap the uh, sapper on the mine. I mean, like, this might actually kinda, be a good idea. Kinda agree with you, but let's see. I think pushback. Okay. I missed. But that should still be a. Yeah, I think it's over. On the sapper. Remember the gunner's health is. Oh yeah, that should be down now. Oh yeah, he's actually gone Actually, one one. Llama is back in the game and. We will have game three without that any is... medics, any grenadiers. That's gonna be awesome. And this is the first time that Nez will be going on to game three in one of his matches. Actually, yeah, Lama is really pushing that guy. So he's giving him a run for his money. So this is gonna be an exciting <laughs> final game, people. We'll see you for that. And we are back. Uh, so Australia stand off third map. Uh, we are ready to see who will win. For Nez, it's already qualification. For Lama, 
it's still up uh, in front question. Exactly. If he managed... I just noted the name of that uh, that Nez gave uh, his uh Oh yeah, he renamed one pick. Yeah. Lag boy. Lag boy. He went with. One map, uh, pork chop temple was indeed laggy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that sure if it's distance sense. from San Marino to you know Australia or it just yeah. the map. But nevertheless, between the two countries. So here we go. Uh, so Australia standoff. Lama is very lucky. Yeah, yeah, he's lucky with this one. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the Paragon first, so he can't pick up the self heals, but he can just go straight for the big damage on this on Nez's power here. Oh, how much I hate head jumps. Like, why are you wasting oh. your time? You got health crates, you got TNT on the other side. Like, what are you doing, mate? You got medicine ball, like... Yeah, to me, it's just not worth going for head jumps early on, unless you're trying to get the chip damage off to bring him down. Ah, uh, no. It's never worth or it. Or unless you're in a position where you can definitely get the head jump off. Like, you've got the height advantage, you can just get the one damage while you can. Yeah, but, but you, you, you got so much damage. resources, and even... Like, even if you are trying for uh, cheap damage, so to say, it's better to choose position or, I don't know, look at the peaks, think about something. I don't know, I, if I would be a Japanese sensei or something, I would just take a stick and hit him with, uh, with it, on his hands, on his controller, so he will stop Ooh. doing it. That is a decent damage from uh, Lama onto that zapper. Yeah, I think it was okay. Gonna happen here. We have Nether's Sapper. Teams, by the oh. way, because in case you didn't, I don't know if you tried to announce the teams before, uh, Revan, but just in case, uh, okay. Uh, Nether's going with a palindrome team Sapper, Parrot, Gunner, Para, Sapper, and Lamo has Sapper, Para, Gunner, Scout, Gunner. So pretty much the same, except two ranks and additional scout yeah, for Lamo. Final two. And look at that! Wow! Medicine Ball! Health Crate! Wow! You can play efficiently, wow! I'm not entirely sure what the medicine ball is going to be entirely useful in this map. Be careful, be careful, that's a long no. walk! That's... It's going to be a pass turn, isn't it? Yeah, he wasted a lot yeah. of time on the hill. But it's a good uh, thing still that he got down from the hill. At least he got down, but he's close to the water! Oh, if he will be bunched up... Please bunch up pinks. Don't waste your exactly. Bunch up? I think he is. Yeah, medicine ball is great uh, because you can heal your, uh, you know, your pick from poison yeah. and such. And slide down towards the water. Oh, I like that. No, I don't. Not the best execution, but still, if he will manage to plant a bazooka, it would be great. Ooh. Nice. Skipping uh, animation. Yep. Just use bazooka. I don't think a bazooka is actually good here because one's on the. Oh! He needs to bunch up, up so. Yeah, yeah. So that's probably good in the end. And more damage. I think these two are not going to be around for much longer, I don't think, unfortunately. Wow. And he also got one additional turn. It's huge for Lama. He can actually pull up a win here. He could actually. He could upset the apple cars, as we say. <laughs> yeah, and for me, Lama was uh, kind of underdog. He was absolutely. I think. No, he's not last. Uh, Welsh is. I think he's at the. I think he's technically at the bottom of this group, though, at the moment, because not I think sure. all, all of them are all on the same number of wins. So. You know the perfect turn right now from uh, from Ness. It should be. Planting one jetpack on the gunner, so you will drop him into that bunched up area, and also you place TNT to also bunch up paratrooper. That way you can have uh, four picks bunch up. Oh, he's going for That's... I don't like that shot. That's really bad. Uh, like how it uh, happened, it's bad, but the whole idea is pretty great. I also like. I'm a fan of those shots. And the last moment when you gain in power and Ooh, uh, hello. Is he gonna do a everything. double flamethrower? Yeah, I guess. Mortar would be better, but Two still. Seconds. Oh, he didn't go in the water, sadly. But big damage onto that sapper. 
And right now you can see the difference between like experienced players and grunts. Uh, first of all, bunch nub was great, but uh, he he really is not using it at all. It was not a great damage that he managed to get from that. And also, Ness was not able to secure him. Uh, he done nothing to uh, save those two picks, but he could have uh, moved two enemy picks to his position. So, they yeah. would be safe. So, they got still much to learn, but overall it's a good level of play in this year Grand League. That's been a high level of it, hasn't it? There are some players that are probably, you could argue, are definitely at the top of the middle league already. I'm not sure about the top, but uh, yeah, level is increasing. Thanks to, Absolutely. you know, old players who are inventing strategies and such. And also, I've never seen new players to practice so much between each other. Yeah. You should see the amount of times, how much I practice on my matches. Well... Uh, Strategy-wise, it shows, like, I like how you used water tanks. Probably not the ideal way, but still, the idea is there. definitely didn't see any of that in my second, in my second game uh, against Michael. Oh my god, I admit to playing absolutely horribly that game. Uh, it can happen, but since you were not punished, oh, it's okay. Yeah. Triple poison? Let's go. <laughs> I'm not sure it's, it's possible there. No, it's not. Everyone is bunched up. There is a potential for some... Oh, I think he's just gonna go for the single. Oh, too much No, uh, he's power. gonna drive for the double. That's too much power, and that's gonna roll away. Yeah, he changed his plans yeah. during... Yeah, it's really tempting and turn. greedy to go for the double sometimes, but sometimes it's just best to go for the single. Yeah, at least for someone, for the safe option. Yeah. Oh, he can collect and Is deal damage. Is he gonna go up and get the stealth heal? He should, he should. Boss, be wait, big, what are you doing? That would be a big <laughs> advantage. Especially since he doesn't have a scout on his team. If he gets the, uh... If this unit gets poisoned and he has a self heal, he'll be able to offset it. Hey, it was one out of thousand situations where you should use straight up jetpack to collect that crate. But he's not collecting. Well... We will see if it will be important. And going for a... Okay here. I kinda liked it. A little short, but will it be extra water? A, a little yeah. more. Spin is not... Not a lot. Not good. Nah. Okay, what now? Uh, no idea, probably damage... This is an awkward position here. <laughs> yeah. Both of these guys are partnered up alongside units, and they're the... Gonna head jump this sapper. Oh, head jumps, my god. Just go out there, take a position, and think about your mortar shot. Like, do whatever. Don't want. What happened now? Going up to this parrot seems. Is he gonna body block on him and then try a bazooka shot? Yes, he is. Or not? <laughs> no idea. Well, that's a very precarious position. Oh, At he got him. Damage is There's kind a lag of on my end, so I thought for a second he may have uh, hit the roof. Wow, such Whoa, a spin. Whoa, what was that spin? Yeah, crazy. Right, that's a lot of damage that Nez took on that para. I think he should eliminate Scout somehow. The Scout's should be easily the biggest first threat priority. on this map, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Because it can poison his units if he doesn't get rid of it. He got one medicine ball, yeah, but that's all. Yeah, that's about it. The only thing left after that are the self heals. I guess and both of them can collect since Jetbox is still in the game. Oh, and that is... That was some good damage, water damage. Spins are ridiculous in this game. <laughs> Work. Yeah, there's a lot of good spins at the moment. See what he tries. Flamo again, going for the head jumps. Okay, this is justified right there. <laughs> he got 51, so yeah, a couple head jumps and TNT. Should be good. Yeah. See if he can get him down enough. 
Yeah, and he's, that, he's on 48, I guess, so pretty secure. Yeah, he's on 48, so, it... so he's gonna try and blast him towards the what? gunner, it looks like. What is he doing? It will do not enough 48? damage. No, it should not be. What? It wasn't 47. Oh, it wouldn't Wait. Have, it wouldn't have okay. Oh, what a <laughs> damn. Calculated. <laughs> Well, he got rid of him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Very strange game. That's happening. Hmm. He's gonna think about. He's gonna nah, think about double nah. healing his nah, units. Mate, no, mate, no. That's a bunch of Only purpose up there. of that ball is self heal, like one pick only, or poison removal. Healing 2 is always bunching up and uh, provoking enemy to deal damage. Okay. Well, he used the medicine ball for double for healing his two units. So there is that at the very least. But is it going to really help? I'm not sure. If uh, Paratrooper will take turn right now, probably uh, Lamo will not have enough time to deal good damage. And also he's biting jet. He only has the one jetpack remaining, so... If he gets a good bunch up here, that medicine will be for medicine ball will be for naught. Unfortunately, I think it's gonna be blasting the guy the wrong way. You know, it can actually be a good oh, idea no, if he's baiting well, Jetpack. Yeah. Good. So, so. Probably he baited the jetpack so uh, Lama is not able to collect self-heal. Which is crazy, but if it's the level of sword, then Slightly short on the on that power though. <laughs> Please call now it he's going in for his own assault on the. No, so yep. heal, please. Oh, whatever. Just use it. Yep. I'm not sure who is winning. What are your... Uh, it is pretty uh, tight at the moment. Yeah. We've got TNT though, so we could potentially... get some more good water damage if we get this right. No way TNT, please. Nice. <laughs> uh, nah, that's not good, I don't think. You mean in terms Ooh, of damage? gonna land on land. Mm. <laughs> 45. Oh, that was actually pretty good in the end. I think it's uh, pretty much impossible to judge uh, rotation and such. Yeah, you can never really judge uh, mm -hmm. uh, where a plague is going to land in the water and which way they're going to land when they're using uh, TNT's bazookas and such. Yeah, the only really, the only options you can really do that with are melee and firearms because they're set on the direction the pig will move. Yes, as yes, in yes, which way I the agree with you. Is. They are milking so much damage out of so small piles of water, it's just crazy. Yeah, it's pretty impressive how they're able to do that. Well, <laughs> lucky! On the two! <laughs> he got unbody blocked pigs from idea. behind and he's choosing not the sure that's a good idea. most difficult, Unless yeah. He's going, for the power? he's going for the power, but that's well far! It's honestly his mistake, he's choosing like the most difficult targets. Yeah, if you're going for a unit that's right on the edge of the water, don't use the water, go for a relatively flat bazooka. Even like that, yep. Yeah. Oh. Wait, we got jetpack on this map? I think so, yeah, he picked one up. Uh, yeah, I think there was originally a... Uh, he self-destruct in uh in that crate on the island, but that was yeah, exactly. with jetpack, I believe. Oh wow! Yeah. It's actually a very good decision by Pin. Oh Pin's right. Never oh, see hey, talking about replacing the uh, self-destruct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good uh, yeah, sorry, balance change. He's going for a f he's going for a box shot. Good one. And gets him. But I would still focus scouts, to be honest. Ooh. This guy's down at the very least. 157, oh my. 
Whoa, that is a healthy scout. He's and a beefy boy. <laughs> exactly, and if he will body block, it uh, will take forever for Ness to deal with him. Absolutely. And also is uh, a hidden object. He can actually just park up alongside any unit he wants to use that medicine ball to heal, because, well, the worst thing that can happen to this guy is... He gets knocked down below his original starting health because you can't heal any more than what you started with. Uh, yes, it's true. He's so indecisive. Like, <laughs> man, just play. <laughs> yeah, he's not very. He's not uh, an instinctive player, shall we call it? Mm, he doesn't probably. have ideas and go bang. I'm gonna execute that plan straight away. Goes for the poison here. Probably lack of experience overall, but uh, he's doing good. Eventually. I like his progress. Still overall. making some good ideas and good plays. Yep. Yeah. Or Grunt League, at the very least, as we said. <laughs> Compared to the ones you're used to, they're uh, a little bit. They're well, truly not on par. Well, uh, uh, I think as soon as uh, like all of you will start does playing against have, experienced player, you will catch up. Yes, he does. Burning it on the, on the scout, though. There was a bit of lag there, so I couldn't see it. Damaging that guy is top priority, of course. I'm not... A little... Uh, oh! Oh, got his own unit. I was kind of expecting that engineer to blow up, but... <laughs> no, it's not possible. Yeah, I like it. Like that one on uh, with the match between Borealis and who was his first opponent again? Oh, let me think. No idea. <laughs> yes, I think it was. It was Chris, uh, wasn't it? Probably Chris. Probably Chris. Yeah, it was Chris. Like that one. Yeah, you remember? You remember watching that back in the park? Did you up on top of that hill and it just detonated? Yeah, first I. That was just. That shocked everyone when that happened. I saw it once when Candyman showed us, like he waited for timer 0-0 zero, zero and he jumped backwards. It's first time I seen something like that. And it reminded me. Oh, that power is... Perfect shot on the para. He's down to 3 health. He's probably not going to last much. Oh, he damaged his own scout. Not the cleanest execution, but still. Oh, f -f 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 denied. Uh -oh. Um, just... No, don't skip! <laughs> yeah, place the TNT right next to that scout. It'll get all three units. Easy peasy. You just need to kind of collect them somehow. So place it uh, more precisely. Mm. I guess it's not actually yeah, possible to it. collect them. But yeah. It will do. That's a good TNT placement. Avoid the skip. Deals with the power and deals big damage to that uh, scout. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, whoa. Right Crazy. next to him. That's an extra 20. I think the... 70 damage in oh, one yeah, turn to overall, the big, beefy scout. <laughs> overall tiles are just, you know... Kind of crazy there, you always slide into one position, no matter where you were pushed. Lost the tiles on this map, it has to be said. Yep. You know, I still think that Llama is in front, but uh, huge effort from Ness. Yeah, absolutely. Llama is barely leading, but I still think Ness can pull it back at this point. Let's see, let's see. Oh! Hmm. Full HP gunners. And paratrooper. The two, the two gunners on roughly the same amount of HP. Is he going to deal with the sapper or is he going to... No, he's going to, to switch around and... I think scout is priority and engineer. We've seen that uh, Llama got trouble with gunner play, like mortars were not good. He's trying to head jumps. Oh, he's sure, like... Again... That's gonna burn up a lot of time. For me, it's a waste of effort. Just think about your mortar, yeah. mate. Or just go for a good flat bazooka. 
if you're not sure about the uh, accuracy of it. Ah, he's going for the bazooka. Uh... Does he have the time? He's going to take out the sapper. Okay. And takes him out. That sapper is a goner. Stout should probably heal now, himself. Two pigs versus two pigs. If he can, uh, can he actually like heal near paratrooper? Ah, no sense. So just heal. Nah. Whenever. Oh wow, he's actually brought him down to. I didn't even realize he dealt. Oh. Okay, yeah. It... Now it makes sense why he's trying to get the extra damage off. I didn't realize he'd been brought down so much. It was lots of damage. I remember the TNT and uh, explosion of uh, dying peak, and also like previous turn. Also, I guess it was something like TNT. I don't really like lost TNT. track of all that. Yeah. I didn't realize he'd been damaged that much. Oh! It was so close. He really <laughs> came back. Well, that would have been bad if it did. Yeah, he's game is strong him. in hands of uh, Lama, but he needs to deal good damage with uh, uh, this mortar or bazooka or whatever. Yeah. Just do so not body block. Back in the favor of Nez here. No, I don't think now, so. Now Lama is stuck with just the gunner. Yeah, he's dealing damage, then he's keeping turn and he's winning. And he also got a, uh, uh, you know. Mesnable uh, to prolong it. Yes, and also, how do you call it, fire? But he needs to make sure that he can make sure all of his shots are bang on perfect here. One skip turn would be enough to win this. He just need to understand. I don't think now's the right time though. Deal damage to the uh, gunner, and then next turn deal with the para. Body blocking is a huge mistake. Yeah. And a bit more That's on the mortar. At this point in time. Okay, it should be good mortar. But he actually he Maybe reduced damage at the last shot, last moment. A little short. Yeah, he reduced it in the like last frame before shooting. Hmm. And to reduce it just a little bit more though. Uh no, dude. Right? <laughs> just no. just but bazooka. Bazooka, mate. Avoid the yes. skip turn. Ah, he's trying to not hit his guy. Okay. Oh, that is risky. That is a mistake to start with. Nah. No, no, no. Ah, oh, bad. That was just a really bad shot. And now this para is vulnerable to a skip turn. Yeah, he just need to push para to the gunner and just complete. Uh... I think does this gunner still have the flamethrower? Yes, he does. But he's going for the bazooka instead. Probably kind of good idea, but then again, flamethrower is much he much safer sure option. Because if it's wrong, that's too far. That's too close. That's not a skip turn, unfortunately. Yes. So now yes, it's as I'm you can see, lack of uh, experience. It's all lack of experience. Ness can actually, with good mortars, he can either draw or even win this match. We will see. I think a draw is probably the best outcome, unfortunately, at this point. He can do something like 70 damage if he will push with first shell, he will push guy into the wall. So the secondary Unless can Unless he hit. also manages to pull off uh, Villa's incredible 114 one shot again. Oh yeah, back in the days. Ooh. Yeah. Lama will be good this if he will not be nervous. Right down to the wire now. Exactly, everything can happen. <laughs> so far, Lama is kinda safe if he will not make he's, mistakes. He's going for a head jump here. I think he's banking. Is he gonna just try and go for two accurate bazooka shots here? Yeah, even like that. Like, you don't need to risk mortars even. Just straight shots with. Uh, you know, yep, bazookas. Straight flat bazookas to the face. That's all you need. Exactly. Letting up a lot of time with the head jumps, though. Okay, let's see. Probably the only, like, way for Ness to win is somehow push Lama into the, you know, 
death zone or something like that. Yeah, like that, that is probably his only option. Yes. I don't know if that can be done with a gunner from this angle. Okay, one more option is 70 mortar with some lucky like pushback to the water or something like that, but it's, you know... Yeah, <laughs> that is incredibly unlikely. Yeah. I'm gonna get head jumps off, but I don't know if it can be... Nah. You can sense the desperation in Nez's movements here. <laughs> yes, exactly. I think, unfortunately, Lamo's got this one. Why is it yeah. unfortunate? <laughs> I'm, just... <laughs> I'm just talking about the context of this game and overall match. Nah, it's uh, Nez fun, confirmed. He's over straight up, yep, yeah, he's... He just decided that's it. I can't win. Because this of is the his boots, best it... chance of trying to get a draw. Yeah, because of the boots, it cannot even be a seventy. Yeah. Now that's it. Nez has lost his only match loss of the entire group playoffs. Yeah, huge effort from Buxy effort from Lamo. Buxy. Lamo gives himself an advantage going in. To uh, qualifying for the playoffs against uh, the, the. I'm forgetting my names now. Against Nez. And Lava also got six points. So both of them got six points. And it's now up to Mr. Kinch and Vaxi to. I don't know. To fight for qualification. Absolutely. I believe if Mr. Kinch wins. Who's La is Lava's final opponent Welsh or Kinch? I can't remember. No idea. I'll have to check that, but I think it's Kinch. If it is Kinch, and Kinch goes up and wins his match against uh, whoever, against Vuxy, then Kinch and Lamo will be playing to decide who goes into the playoff. That <laughs> Crazy be stuff going on in Group A, and it was Revan and Ru, Ru with his debut in commentary, and uh, Gigi to Lamo. Thank you. Thank you for letting me come along, Revan. It was good yep. fun. You're All welcome. right, guys. Thanks for letting me come along. We'll see you for the next match, everyone. Yeah, see you guys. Bye-bye.